I like the car. Some of the cars are real in this, which is interesting to me. And another oh, thing yeah. I'm looking for is I'm looking for that upskirt. Oh, There's an upskirt right. in the movie, an infamous upskirt. Oh, I wonder, do you think they made a car of it? I hope so. <laughs> Cards, no coffee, and it's a Wednesday, and I think we're in something called like, is this Biddeford, Maine? This is Biddeford, Maine. And uh, you are one of the hosts tonight. I am. I, uh, I'm Nate Cooper. I'm one of the hosts here at the Comedy Mill. To, well, I'm tonight's host, anyways. And you did a great job. You really did some good. Uh, rambling isn't that the right word, but topical, topical. No, back and forth with back the and forth, with yes. the with the comedians who were just up. Not everyone is great at that, but you you did you know you did good. You did good with me. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. I appreciate that. What uh, what'd you pick? I picked uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This is Ooh. actually close to me, so um, I like the cars. Some of the cars are real in this, which is interesting to me. And another oh, thing yeah. I'm looking for is I'm looking for that upskirt. Oh, There's an upskirt right. in the movie, an infamous upskirt. Oh, I wonder. Do you think they made a card of it? I hope so. There she is, anyways. Yeah. I forget her name. Uh, well, let's see here. We'll deal with her first. Wow, they've shown the it's the back on both sides. They're like the other sides will be like a big picture. Oh, and nice. okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's odd that they did it that way. And just, there'll probably be a sticker. Okay, so that's a real car somewhere, and that's kind of cool. The movie Cars Disney came out way later, but they kind of stole maybe some of the idea. Yeah, absolutely. having the cars have like that personality. Because did the did the taxi talk or no? I can't remember. The taxi. Was there a taxi? Not that? talk. It was very sad. It was very sad. It showed emotion talk. though, yeah, and that's exactly, what the cars exactly. kind of stole from it. How long have you been doing comedy? Um, I've only been doing comedy since February, but I nice. been, I was started doing online comedy skits in the pandemic on uh, TikTok at Crane C R A E N A Y. Perfect. Um, on TikTok, Cray, I, I, Cranium, Cray, Crazy, crazy. Nate, Nate. I'm Nate crazy Cooper. Nate. Nice. So, uh, Perfect. Yeah, um, on TikTok, I amassed a little following doing comedy skits. It's a lot of uh, gypsy references on the TikTok. And oh, what do you think of the gypsies? Uh, I am one, and I hate them. Wow. No <laughs> funner group of people to party with, though. No, absolutely. As long as you keep your stuff yeah, together. Exactly. You, Make sure you, you, if you don't get too drunk and freaking lose your shit, but yeah, absolutely. oh my god, you will have the greatest time ever. So who's the actor for this? Because we never saw this man ever again. Oh, well, maybe he was like an old-timer guy. You, he looks like a really old-timer guy. Back, by the way? What's up? Oh. You ever plan on coming back? Yeah, my Wednesday second mic was a poetry one I did in Manchester, and they're taking a break for six weeks. This is a spoken word slated variety show highlighting poetry and comedy. We are the raunchiest open mic in New England. Yeah, probably. We do not sponsor orgies. Fuck the myths. <laughs> Damien, I know I'm talking to you. Fuck your sub stack. Fuck your sub stack. They're not sponsored. Them. That's all. <laughs> and you're from Dover, so we're not. We're about 40 minutes away from here. Yeah, Judge I come up here all the time. I just haven't been coming up on Wednesdays. So I've been hitting Portland and, you know, the other stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Judge no, Doom actually was yeah, terrifying. Yeah, Judge Doom with oh, his yeah. weird gloves and he would dip the cartoons in. I remember the melting of the cartoons. Is That's actually, well, that wasn't a children's movie. It couldn't have been because that was Trump. It was dark. Yeah, yeah. The it first was very one dark. The, you know, a guy in, um, God, I'm going to forget his name. A guy in uh, Louisville okay. who has one arm also picked these same cards, and he got the card of the glove. <laughs> and it was so crazy, because he's like, look my arm! That's what I just looked at. It was insane! Any good cards? Sometimes there's a sticker. How do you know what's good? That's a piece of a puzzle. Well, good like that you think is neat. I mean, oh, good right, as far right, as like, right, oh, right. this is cool, I don't neat. know. My left hand. Ah! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, my left hand. <laughs> See, that's a good what card. Right? That's the, a total definition of a good card. Goo? We're live. Yeah, yeah I have a show. I'm We're doing... live, baby. Here, here's a, here's a little paper. Pod. You here's pick one of these, you open it up, and here's you talk about it on the yeah. joint. It Roger. was so fun. Roger Rabbit. This poor man. Those luscious, luminous lips, it says. He, oh, he got oh, kissed wow. by the cartoon. Yeah, I remember that. Good oh, night. yeah, they could have, like, a bodacious one of the girl. Oh, whoa. We're getting close. Patty cake. It almost looks like a black and white. It almost looks like Elvira or something, or uh, a chick that's from uh, it's Patty Cake. El that's dude, the Elvira. Cartoon. Elvira. I knew. I knew a lot of Elvira lookalikes in high school. Oh, because like goth. Goth chicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, were, were you into that? That's scene? interesting. 
Uh, I hung out in a hallway called the Goth Hallway. You just got a sign one for me. I was, uh, I was a wrestler. You can do it, yeah. I only got involved with the Goths because I played music with some Goths. Oh, okay. I messed around with, like, guitar and vocals and drum kits and stuff. Right. Stuff like that. Yeah, and, just uh, sign one of the cards and, uh... All right. How do you, like uh, you like the scene up here in uh, Maine? I like that a scene started here in Maine. It's a big shout-out to all the guys at the Comedy Mill. It's three Godfathers, Nate Curran... Buzz Gordon and Paul Roy, and uh, every Wednesday night. And it was like, like the, the, someone, you, someone sent out a number at the beginning, so is that how many weeks you've got it then? Uh, at the beginning of the show? 35 weeks. Yeah, 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 that's sweet. I've only been doing comedy since February. I started coming in January. Uh, you came before, you, you came for a month before. You said you came in January and you started February. Yeah, I started I started because one of the, one of the godfathers of the scene who isn't here right now, uh, he, uh, he called me out on stage. Mm. He called me out for being a troublemaker in high school. He made me look like a real bad guy. Yeah, I had yeah, to, yeah. Uh, I had to redeem myself. And then I had already been writing jokes for like a long time because I'm a big fan of the uh, Kill Tony podcast. Sure, sure, sure. So I've always wanted to at least write a minute. But every time I start writing a joke, I would always end up writing at least three minutes. So having like a five-minute window every Wednesday night is a good thing to have in better for Jet ski. Jesse Johnson has done this show. Really? Yeah, one of my favorite movies. Why? Who framed Roger Rabbit? Why is it your favorite? One of your favorites? Because it's a cartoon for adults. Right. It was a mix of cartoons and live action stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I love this movie. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. How long have you been doing comedy? Twelve years. Twelve years. Are you gonna eat the gum? Is this gum? Really? As has. Oh my God. Why am I gonna forget his name? The fucking guy who played the sax. Uh, you talk, I the, 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 uh, hold on, now you're making me forget I see Kill Tony, everything. he used to play Jeremiah Watkins, Jeremiah Watkins. Yes. shout out. Yeah, he's also oh, yeah. done this. Yes. He yes. picked the SNL cards and he, oh my god, it was so oh, So I met Jeremiah Watkins while he was opening, uh, I saw at the TD Center, or the TD Garden Center, I saw Joe Rogan with nice. Tony Hinchcliffe open, opening up back in the day. Nice. And Jeremiah Watkins with oh Tony. God. Oh, and what did, oh! <laughs> I am so. There's a. The Bulls. Da oh. Bulls. Da Bulls. Da Bulls. Da Bulls. Da Bulls. Oh, da what a classic. Bulls. This is amazing. That's a classic. <laughs> Oh so probably you're goodness. not going to sign that one and give that one back to me. You'll probably keep that one. If I can hold on to this one. Well, you I get mean, all but one. All but one? You oh, just have to sign one. Dude, yeah, oh, yeah. easy. Okay. The Bulls, that's great. Oh, I love it. Okay. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen the other two, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Go check out live comedy because that's where it's happening. <laughs> Good. Thank Thanks, Dave. So everybody, give it up for your next comedian, uh, David Bacon, everybody. Joke, but uh, 
The chicken doesn't want it to be. A lot of stand-ups have uh, suicidal material. I wish they would take some of that material and hang themselves. I have double dog dare ya. The best suicide joke is the classic. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? It's the best suicide joke. Kegels almost make up for condoms. <laughs> New Hampshire's motto is live free or die. It should be freedom. If you think you're free, you're dumb. Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking, ladies, gentlemen, Three's Company. Woo! My five minutes might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean, meta useful. I want to address the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. Interesting which ones you laugh at. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens. But they're finding but they're fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash to the trash bin. <laughs> And then, once the most pleasurable part on the male is removed, they seem surprised that some dudes move on to number two. <laughs> and if you're unsure of where the second most pleasurable place on a male is, uh, number two is one hell of a clue. What's up here, bud? I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. Some people went to college. <laughs> if you heard of tennis, I'm not into you romantically. Why won't you just value love? <laughs> this next joke uh, seems to resonate more with a younger crowd, and it's not about sounding. People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. And I'm gonna end with this. This is just a premise. Collecting sneakers seems gay to me. Thank you very much.